the walking scorer and standard bearer assigned to the group should meet up and head out together. Depending on the distance from headquarters to the starting tee, this will be at least 15 minutes before you need to be there. Always double check if your group is starting at the first tee or the 10th tee, since oftentimes more than one teeing ground is in use. Make sure to arrive there in enough time to see the group ahead of you start. After the preceding group has departed the teeing ground, enter and introduce yourself to the USGA starter. At that time, you will also meet the referee assigned, who will be supervising your group. From that point forward, the three of you will remain together, unless instructed otherwise by the referee or walking scorer. The walking scorer will provide guidance for the standard bearer during the round. The starter will introduce you to the players and their caddies. Once introductions have been made, any discussions with the players are strongly discouraged unless initiated by them. If there's a question about a score, ask the referee or the player's caddy for assistance. After all tee shots have been played, let the players and their caddies exit the teeing ground first, and then the three of you follow them. Once out on the golf course, as much as possible, follow your referee's direction as to how and where to proceed. Usually that will mean walking behind the players and caddies, either on the edge of the fairway or in the rough along the rope line next to the gallery. While following the group, be aware that it is not required for a walking scorer to see the golf ball. However, position yourself so that all strokes can be observed. For standard bearers, make sure the face of the standard is facing the spectators on the side of the fairway, but don't fight the wind to do so. It is absolutely fine for the standard bearer to put the standard down while players are taking strokes. At each green, two chairs will be stationed for the walking scorer and standard bearer. These are usually located near the exit to the next hole. When you arrive at the chairs, a tube or stake will have been positioned on which the standard bearer can rest the standard and take a seat. It's a good practice to point the face of the standard towards the spectators. Once a player has completed the hole, the walking scorer will note the score and then should direct the standard bearer to make changes if necessary. Adjustments to the standard will occur when a player does not make par on the hole. Do not leave your location until after the group finishes play and then the players and their caddies exit towards the next teeing ground. You can usually follow the referee. Practices to remember. The walking scorer and standard bearer should meet up at headquarters and head out together to see the preceding group start. Once the preceding group has departed, you may enter the teeing ground. And do not initiate conversation with the players.